deliver prosperity by connecting customers, cargo, and the community to the world. On this day, on February 8th at 5.30 p.m., I attended a meeting, uh, an open house for the Port of Tacoma. I first met my contact, Brandon Rogers, in his office and just knew I was going to a meeting. I had no clue where or what for. Um, so in all its awkwardness on the way from his office to the building, he kind of gave us the rundown of what we were going to be doing and he informed us that it was a uh, he his part in the whole picture is that he uh, tries to get the um, businesses such as Porta Tacoma they're one of the school's biggest investors in times of uh, developing new skills to train new students or new people uh, they use the college. He also stated that we're running out of space to add more uh, buildings to teach different things, new things, so it would have to be more construction. And he explained maybe an area where there might be more buildings to make more classrooms to teach new things. But he said that um, this, the Port of Tacoma is a large investor, they've managed to keep most of their money in this recession, and I'll get into that more later. Um, he also stated that <coughs> I gathered so in some way the sense of urgency <coughs> to that he was in a competition. So I asked the question, I said, is this, uh, are there going to be other investors here that are going to be doing the very same job that you're doing, trying to get the Port of Tacoma to finance their school for educational purposes? And he said that Yes, kind of. It's gotten a lot better throughout the years that uh, it used to be a lot more competitive, but now uh, all the people that are in his position kind of work with each other. And so I kind of gathered that on, on our, just our walk to get there. And then when we got there, uh, prior to going to the meeting, I make it, made a joke that I wasn't going to go unless there were Starbucks. And so when we got there, the icebreaker was, hey, there's Starbucks. So I went over and I got some coffee. <laughs> okay, so I got some coffee. So, hey, it was worth going. I got a free cup of Starbucks, and I learned a lot of other uh, valuable things. There were, uh, so this is where I was sitting. That's me, or Grace, maybe. And so we were like, there, go back, and um, this went all the way around the room. We were in the student center, uh, the second room to the right. So it was the, all the chairs were in the center, and then around the room there were these easels with boards with. How do I change? Click on that with the mouse, I think. From, to this? Oh, oh RGB. So there were one, two, three, four of those easels and tables around the room. And this is what it would look like if you would have been there. The first board that you would have saw would have been goal one, and it would have explained the goals of the port and given you some details as to how they were going to follow through with those goals. The second board would have looked like this. Exactly like this. These are just a, the boards were a blown up copy of th these exact um, format. It would have provided you with reliable and effective regional and local infrastructure connections, and there would have been someone there to talk to you in regards to if you if you had any questions. There were lots of people, business suits and ties, and owners of this and that, and I knew I was around pretty important people, so that made me a little bit awkward. And um, the third stand would have looked just like this. It would have said goal three, ways to improve the port's financial performance. The fourth one would have looked like this. It reads increased workforce and organizational capabilities.
one more time. One more picture of the room and what it looked like. So this was the area that the ladies spoke at. Here was my coffee. <laughs> um, the lady opened up, I do not recall her name, but she opened up by saying, thank you for your time. I've been a commissioner here for 15 years. She tried to relate herself to you and just talk about her everyday life. She made really strong statements about how they were drawing the vision and what really caught my attention is she talk, talked about the hardship of our financial state and what happened four years ago on Wall Street and how she talked about they're secure and they're grounded and they managed to not really be affected by that and I kind of wondered how or why or how much money they had in the first place and um, but it also made me feel comfortable and secure that hey I live next to this place that has a you know business that provides six three